Sorry, folks. Bar talk. It's a Sunday, but listen, bar talk is really at the bar this, this evening. We have the program that is ideal for all you guys who've been at the bar, okay? I will talk to you more about the title of the show and my guests right after this. Welcome back. Like I said, Bar Talk finally goes to the bar. This show is called Entitled Bar Talk for about three years. We're in our, as you guys know, in our fourth year of Bar Talk. And it's been all kind of different topics. And uh, just a reminder for folks, actually, let me, let me do take care of the, 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 the we call it now, the housekeeping before. Bar Talk is a production of Moment to Remember Studio where we do all things photo, video, and print. So if you have a passport picture or your next major event, photo or video, don't ask us about price. Talk, us, talk to us about your vision and we'll see how we can make your vision a reality. And then we see what cost it takes to make that happen. This is also a product of Jamaicans.com, the number one stop for all things Jamaica, the Caribbean, and to the world. And as you know, go, folks, on Jamaicans.com, we have people watching this show from as far as Ghana, from China, from uh, London, all over the place. And yes, in Fort Lauderdale, and Lauder Hill, because somebody going to call me and say, you forget us. No, you, I haven't. So guess what, folks? We are encouraged um, that you give us text where you're coming from, say hi, hello, let us know where you're um, texting in from, and from there we will move forward to say hi to you. We, we want the experience. Also, just so you know, we have just had a new um, YouTube channel. So all these shows, like you don't have to go scouting around Facebook to go find our shows. The shows are now on YouTube on a Bar Talk channel. It's a new channel, so I'm going to ask you to subscribe and like it. We are now migrating a lot of shows to YouTube. So it's youtube.com um, at forward slash at bar talk at m2r. It's in other words, if you go to youtube.com, just, just type in um, at bar talk at m2r and you will find us. Um, listen, folks, I started bar talk years ago, uh, three years ago, and some of my church friends asked me, Brother Luke, who are you started bar talk? And I've said it so many times that my dad had a grocery and a bar. In Jamaica, he had a grocery on one side and he had a bar on the other side. But guess what happened? Um, my mother used to send me at 10 years old inside of the bar. I took a call my daddy. And when she does, um, sometimes you'll get mad because the men were drinking white rum and milk. And the stench of white rum and milk and cuss words and bad words. But some of the conversations were very unique. And some of these conversations, I don't even think your pastor could have answered some of those things. And so the place, ser it serves a purpose. Bar talk serves a purpose because, as you know, last week we talked about um, uh, human trafficking and some of the horrors with it. Well, this week we're just taking it a little bit lighter. It's Women's Month and we're going to talk about women along the way, but we're going to just have some fun with it. So the title is, Who Can Hold Them Liquor Better, Man or Woman? Who can hold them liquor better, man or woman? And so today we have a panelist. We have my, my Kiwanis people from Kiwanis of Greater Sunrise and Broad. And I'm going to start, and I have Gary, who is from what we're having tonight. This is a real deal. This is not, so if you're wondering, folks, if it's something else, it's the real deal. This is Rude Bar Rum, and we'll talk about some more. But let's introduce our guest, starting with the first one that has never been on the show. Christine, my dear, introduce yourself. Christine Ramsey. No, 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 no. All right, Christine. Since you can't, since you can't, you can talk longer than your name. On Bar Talk, we like to ask people if they're real Jamaican, if they're fake Jamaican, and we're su surprised to find out that oftentimes people we think we're Jamaican, their mama Jamaican, their daddy, their husband are Jamaican, but they are not Jamaican. So, um, where in Jamaica are you from? If you're real Jamaican, I'm a Manchesterian. I'm Manchester, and I'm somebody I wonder where, what on earth is that? Manchester. From Manchester, okay. Which school you went to in Manchester? Nazareth All Age School. Nazareth All Age School. And what's your current profession and why you are suitable to have to have a discussion about this topic? Well, my current profession, I am a care coordinator for long-term care insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm so suitable for this topic. 
Because I'm a rum drinker. <laughs> I drink rum. No more need to be said. Okay. Claudette, my sister from another mother. Talk to the people. Introduce yourself again. Hi, good evening, TV Land. My name is Claudette De Paz. Mm -hmm. And I'm a 25-year resident of Lauder Hill. And I'm a Kiwanian. And I'm a community activist. And I'm also a red rum drinker. Hmm. What else you want to know? Well, I, no, no, I know nothing else right there, so, so listen, and I, 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 I know Claudette for years, and, and, and we have been having fun both at Kiwan, it's built in the community, she's an, a really serious uh, community activist, the word activist sounds like a very harsh topic, like fighting on flags and all kind of thing, no, she does good in the community, she seeks out the opportunity to do good in the community, and she does it. She'll be honored by the city of Lauder Hill tomorrow uh, in the city chambers. So if you're in the area, stop by, see what they have said about this wonderful woman. And now, Aww. the man who, yes, the man who provided the liquor this time. If you know bar talk, every, every week we have a glass of something. Um, so Gary, this time I'm going to bring out the, the full barrage of stuff. <laughs> so um, Gary, introduce yourself for me, please. All right, so I'm Gary from Old Boy Spirits. Um, we manufacture one of the best rum on the market right now. Um, we have a gold rum, a coconut rum, a vodka. Gary, already a woman at getting in your case. They say, if you talk up a little louder, that kind of, the, the rum can't go down smooth, but you need to talk yeah. louder. <laughs> <All right. laughs> go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, you know, who, who better to talk about this topic? I mean, I'm a rum maker and these people are rum drinkers, so. Let's figure it out and say who can hold them liquor better. Right? I, I, I know. Let, no, to ask you the same question. Are you Jamaican, first of all? Yes, I'm Jamaican. And where in Jamaica are you from? I was born in St. Elizabeth, lived in Kingston, and now I'm in Florida. And now you're in Florida. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, listen, um, the whole thing about this rum thing, as about the topic came to me, uh, every time I remember, when I was teaching, I remembered um, on a Friday evening, we used to hang out because we used to teach at-risk kids. So all the kids who would stay tell that they had to go back to regular school, we had to deal with them. So guess what? Um, on a Friday evening, a couple of us would hang out. There's a place named Dirty Harry um, in... Um, off 17th Street Causeway, they eventually closed it down, but you used to get all the, 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 as long as you're buying liquor, all the crab legs you can't eat and all yeah. the shit so forth. Yeah. And so, um, so we went there and we used to have fun. One, fr one Friday evening, everybody else somewhere else to go and a sister name, a teacher name, she was a, a, a counselor yeah. uh, named Cindy, said, boy, make we just go. It's not Cindy, Sandy, make, no, let me get the right, right name right. Mm -hmm. And Sandy and I went there. And so we bought a pitcher of beer and um, then put the ice bag in it so the beer don't get diluted. Yeah. We bought a pitcher of beer and we had all the, all the food we could eat. And um, we eating and eating and next thing you know, the pitcher done. And um, we had another pitcher and the pitcher came. And on the third pitcher, I feel like I want to go to the bathroom because <laughs> I couldn't hold the water no more. Yeah, yeah. And I come back and Sandy had another pitcher <laughs> down there. And on the fifth, fifth pitcher, and Sandy is a little, uh, she wasn't petite, but she was uh, probably about 50 pounds more than the woman. Yeah. And so um, next thing I know is that I start feeling like I need to go home. And so on the fifth picture, I said, Sandy, no, we'll stop this. And we finished, it, we finished off the fifth picture, and I walk her to the car like the gentleman could do. And I had the artist find, finding my car, time finding my <laughs> car. And that's the only time in my life I know that if a cop stopped me that day, <laughs> I would be in serious problem. So in that case, Sandy can hold her liquor better than me. Because Sandy looked cool as cucumber, she had no problem. But here's the problem. Um, research says that based on body mass, women are more likely to be absorbed by liquor, put it that way. In other words, they can handle them liquor, man of the man who can handle liquor. So I'm going to turn it over to you ladies to begin with. Uh, your experience, Christine, who handle liquor better? I want to be chauvinistic and say women do. 
How the heck you gonna be chauvinistic and say women? What kind of story is that? However, yeah, that. However, <laughs> however, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. as the, st the statistics say, weight, mm -hmm. weight on your body absorbs the liquor more, so you can drink more. And if you notice, most men who are drinking have big belly. Uh, 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 first of all, uh, 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 hold on. There. First of all, <laughs> cut the crap. You are not <laughs> going to, to, to call <laughs> names for right. a show like this. I, yes, I, I am personally offended. That's all right. It's no lie. <laughs> but it's I, not, grew up, name. I grew up <laughs> in <laughs> Manchester <laughs> at a bar. <laughs> yeah. My uncle I, I, had a bar. I'm glad I'm the expert here. Well, go on, go on, and go every, on. Every man that come there and drink, except the minister, had a big stomach. And they would drink and drink and drink. But and who knock out first? You know, men are greedy when it comes to the liquor and because of the machoism, they think they should drink more and drink and drink. And naturally, them go knock out first. Them come home, woman have to take off them shoes. I have been <laughs> take off them shoes and put them in the bed and all of that. And I have been out with gentlemen friends who them drink and I drink too because I will drink you some white rum and water. That's my staple drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, you hear it at first, yeah. folks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, and I've been go home with my brethren or my husband or my man. And trust me, man, him lean up. The rum, <laughs> lean him up, and we both drink the same alcohol. No, but no, but hold on. The the thing, the, 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 no, is it but the you same guys, quantity? It's the same quantity. So, Come on, th man. thank you. Uh, uh, is it yes, the same it quantity? It's the same quantity. So, you drink, drink for drink. Especially if he's buying what you want to drink, yeah, man. I would drink and finish, and you think you can hold another one? Of course, you're gonna have one, sure. <laughs> and me have another one, and sometimes I have to drive home. I mean, the idea <laughs> so, is to give you as much. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. As no, much as hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on to Gary. I, because you know this right now. You're the voice of reason. Okay, you still right there, sir. Because you are the rum distiller. You are the voice of reason. Claudette. Yes, baby. Me know in the community a long time. Yes. And you probably know more about some people in the community than even many of us can even think about. What's your experience with some of them people? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. they said they're drinking rum or whatever their preference. Mm -hmm. Some of the men that I know and I hang with, they just puck up the glass with ice. Who are that? I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, so, so, the, so a wolf of man up front then. Oh, Folks, yeah. you, have, you ever heard it here first that Claude yeah. Nepal says, I'm not a you guys. Uh, 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 because true, you know. I'm it's, not, true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, oh, 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 oh I, I, I'll have scotch on the rocks, but up here. Uh. <laughs> go ahead. True. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, uh, I love my appetite, especially if I am. Um, with my companion, mm -hmm. I will drink half a ton because I have someone that will make sure I'm okay, mm -hmm. you know? But I mean, he will know my limits, mm -hmm. you know? But I say men consume more than women, but women have more control over what they have consumed. Or okay. maybe it's because you drink uh, intentionally smarter. There you go. We don't gulp it because what's his name going by me another one. But, but let's go back to it because some of you women go place and they say you're going to drink out a man. Well, if the man allows you to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a different subject. <laughs> let, 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 let me move on. Let me go to the... Let, 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 I mean, yeah. If you're not interested in the woman... <laughs> Or vice versa. I don't mind. Yeah, just, a man just... come to me and say, hi, how are you? I said, I'm good. What are you drinking? I said, really? <laughs> I said, can he afford what I drink? Mm. And if him can't afford it, tough luck, right? There you go. Uh, Gary, be, you do, be the voice of reason here for me. Yeah. You are the man. First of all, folks, can we get the camera on Gary, please? Not me. Uh, just now. Um, and this is live, so we can afford to do that. And him drink it. By the way, folks, him distill it, and him drinking it. And you see all the rum in front of him, root boy rum. The first time I went to Jerkfest, and I taste this root boy rum, I was like, 
First of all, it wasn't here some, some Rasta sign. So you talk about the Rasta. No, no offense, gentlemen. Now come look for me. But they had some Rasta, the, the, the black, green, and gold, or the ice green, and gold. And I said, boy, I must have a Rasta man try this, this thing out. And then they were giving out these little samples. And I tasted the sample, and the, the, the coconut rum had me locked. And then when I found, yeah. uh, the, the second time now at the museum, I, I spoke to you one-on-one, -on -one and yeah. I found out that this is a man who knows his stuff. So I'm going to ask you from, not from them women, my yeah. women over here, <laughs> but from the voice of reason. Right, so, yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as far as alcohol and liquor is concerned, mm -hmm. and I mean, I feel like it depends on who holds them liquor more, right? The quality of what you're drinking have a lot to do with it. A lot to do with So if you're drinking, you know, cheap quality rum, alcohol, have a different effect. I mean, if you, the cheaper the drink, the most likely the hangover, the throwing it's up. It's going to be heavy. You know, so all that has to do with the quality of the liquor. So to avoid all of that, everybody can just buy a root boy and just drink root boy. No, hold on there. Hold on there. So hold on there. <laughs> let, let me th throw a fly in the ointment then. Yeah. Quality don't necessarily mean price. No. Because uh, somebody told me from... Um, what that company name that makes American bourbon? What name again? Uh, there's a company that makes bourbon, and they make all the whiskey around town. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. But a guy who works with them told Mushan. me. No, 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 Mushan. That's that, that, that not bourbon. That's not bourbon. Yeah. Chat Daniel. Chat Daniel. Yeah. Chat, no, thank you. Thank, okay. thank you from the, the church system. <laughs> 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 DJ's in the house, Kevin is on a break, and so the church sister says, remind me yeah. that it's, it's Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. <laughs> but they say that Hennessy, for example, yeah. is no different in quality than from some of the regular bourbons that's made in Tennessee and all of these places. And, and, really? uh, and yeah, but that it's only because of a uh, recognition and a celebrity put their name to it. Yeah, and where it's from. You know? And where it's from, yeah. yeah. So what, what's your take on that? So, I mean, as, as far as... I mean, so to, because, to be honest with you, a man go to a club with all the likes of a, a Claudette and she say, what can you afford me? And him say, what you want? And she's, the first thing come out of her mouth is Hennessy because yeah. Hennessy is supposed to be top chef liquor. Yeah, top chef, yeah. Liquor. Yeah. Does it necessarily mean that it is... Finish that for me. So... Top shelf would have to be like the quality of the liquor. Yeah. You know, based on how it's made, how it's crafted, how it's distilled. Mm. You know, that would give it the top shelf flavor, the top shelf status. And we're going to come back to your liquor just about 15 minutes before we yeah. close off. We're going to go all things root boy rum. Yeah. But just tell me, how would that affect? Oh, yeah, and PJ reminding me, people, people on the thing asking questions and me just to run off a mouth. Um, <laughs> blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> but yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, so I mean, the quality of the rum have a lot to do with it. And obviously, I mean, once it's a top shelf product, it's a top shelf product. I mean, people are going to always go for name recognition. That's always going to be a part of it. So you're not going to get away from that. I mean, Well, we don't, we don't make it a trouble. I mean, and, and this is not a show for trouble. Yeah. But... Um, are there top, without calling a name, are there top shelf liquor by, because a, a hip hop star or a, a sub kind of star recommended, does that, uh, is, is those, some, some of those people should watch out for? Well, it's the popularity, whatever sells. I mean, whoever, Yeah, but, whoever but as far as making somebody drunk and disorderly or have a head, because you spoke to me about that. You used to mention to me that yeah. there are things that may you drink and then, and it's true. There's yeah. some wine I buy that I love, but I can't drink. If I drink much of it, I get a, I, I go home, I have the worst pain. Yeah, so that, that's because of how it's made, how it's crafted. So if the liquor is not crafted on a high quality. What, what do you mean by high craft? Because we're going to call right, you so on that now. Like, mm -hmm. like some, all right, anybody can make the rum, right? When it come out of the barrel, it come, the bottom of you the barrel, make, the worst. Actually, yes. Carl just mentioned moonshine, exactly. so anybody can so, make so, so anybody can make rum. <laughs> but the, the, the okay. process of crafting the rum, mm -hmm to give it the flavor, the taste, the whole, you know, because if, if you distill it once or twice, there's still a lot of impurities in the rum. So the more you distill it with your crafting and your process is what refine the rum to another level. So you have to refine the rum to get it up to another level. Because all rums start at the same place. 
is how you craft it that get it to be that well, separation. Well, that's because all of a sudden, Claudette, now I have a, key, a question for us. Go ahead, Claudette. Yeah. yeah. What got you into this? Why you... you no, we come back to that now. No, no, no. <laughs> Claudette, forget. <laughs> What do you mean? Forget what? Forget, forget that. Hold on. We come, because I'm going to plug this and we're going to talk about that. But the truth okay. of the matter is, you, you're not on a, a, a technical subject that going somewhere more. On. By the way, out of the frame, man, we can't see it on the white chat. But anyway, that's a different thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, you lie. It will lie. But seriously, yeah, back to you, uh, me. Gary. Yeah. Um, the white, the angle. What is it that, because you keep the saying the quality and the quality of the the, 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 the craftsmanship that, that the craftsmanship talk the to me what for example what is it that gives me that headache if i drink certain things now, regardless of what the, the brand that they put on it All right. so basically when i when a rum is being made right the first thing i start with everybody starts at the same level you start from your sugar cane base whatever that rum sugar cane base or whatever the rum base is right mm -hmm. so everybody starts at the same level but the process that each manufacturer each brand decide to do as far as how you want to distill it, how many times you want to distill it, how refined you want to make it, how much time you want to put into it, and how much you want to spend to make it better than the rest. So that's where separate different rums, different tastes, different flavors. And as far as the headache? The headache is caused by, you know, the leftover impurities that you may or may not... What kind out. of impurities? Just the standard stuff is in... That's like? The just the chemical balance I of the rum. I beg to differ from the, that. The, chem the chemical makeup of the rum, you know, because generically when, it, when it's made, the chemical makeup of the rum is all the same until you refine it and separate it based on the chemical balance of it. Okay, hold on there. Before we go any further, folks, we not, must recognize our um, online audience. So I just want to make sure that we uh, hyacinth, Owen, um, the, the war and uh, other folks are watching. Uh, Dion, uh, Diane Bryce, uh, woman. Yes, thank you, my dear. Uh, Kim Harris uh, Stratham, uh, or Stratham. Uh, again, folks, you know me, I have a problem with names. I used to teach and I used to butcher the people, the kids in my school. So it ain't no different at my age now. So please. Uh, Kim Harris uh, Strat Stratham says, depends on the man or the woman as far as who can hold the liquor. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, Diane Bryce says, also depends on the kind of alcohol one chooses to drink at the time. And that's exactly what Gary said. Yeah. Um, and so a certain person, hallelujah, says, yes, it is available at your local Total Wine. Because somebody did ask, um, mm -hmm. Already, where can we find this? And yeah. there's a lot of people watching as we speak. Yeah. Cheryl uh, Longmore say, LOL, LOL. Hey, Cheryl, how are you doing? Kim Harris, uh, it's Kim? been, I have been out with male friends that are drinking beer and I drink vodka straight. Punch, a uh, uh, clouded. I am talking to the, the studio audience. Could you be quiet enough so they can hear? I hear you. The, by the way, Claudette, I have a friend, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about it. She says, Kim says, uh, I've been out with male friends that are drinking beer, and I'm drinking vodka straight 100 proof, and they are drunk before me. I am drinking 8 to 10 shots. So in other words, uh, Kim is saying man, you, man, men can't hold them liquor. And I, I, there's another, another part of this subject, folks, that we're going to touch, because um, sometimes I think people, and it's another part of the subject we, we, we have to get to. I wouldn't only have half an hour, but time flies fast. And I chat too much, I think. Maybe. Um, I think. But, <laughs> same thing. But seriously speaking, because some men use it as an excuse to make a move when them shouldn't move. And in terms of this Women's Month, we want to ask the ladies, not all drunk men are drunk men. Some men pretend to be drunk. So them can make the, so them can get their attention, and then when them do yeah. things where they you slap them across the face, them say, "Boy, uh, blame it on the NAC, blame it on the alcohol and all." Can no, no. But anyway, back to it. Kim says, "Drink." Okay, so guy can't drink. Um, Airy, uh, Jack Daniels. Okay, so I thank you very. I couldn't remember. And she it's not on the PJ. There were people mm -hmm. online reminding me. Says Jack Daniels. Owen Demar says, "Not true." I know of situation when the bartender poured a whole white rum <laughs> in the glass uh, uh, um, to get the water. Okay, let me try this again. Gary DeMar says, I'm not, not true. I know of situations when the bartender poured a whole white rum in the glass to get the water. 
when, uh, when she was about to pour the water. The oh. glass was empty, so we had to give, get another shot. So Gary essentially making an excuse that boy, she poured water in it and instead of, you know, I, I not quite get that. But uh, Gary, if you explain yourself, I'd appreciate it because that one that kind of missed me, you know. Oh. Owen, um, Jack stole the recipe from Uncle Neris. He didn't do it right. I don't know. You, anybody know about that? That story that Jack, that, that Jack Daniels Jack Daniels stole no. the recipe. Yeah. Okay, Jacqueline is what? Uh, well, Jacqueline. Tell her Google it and send it to you. Okay, Google it and send it to us because we don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, Cranston, Jackie, you know her? Is watching. Um, yeah. Ellis Kelly uh, is watching. <laughs> Hillary Bell is watching. Paula Dawkins is watching. Uh, women drink. Um, so Jay says. Um, Women drink better quality alcohol because they don't want to get sick. Neither do women who, uh, who we party with or drink with. So she says, first of all, when a woman goes to a party, she know our alcohol. Uh, she our ain't preference. got our preference. Yeah. Uh, she now go show up at a bar yeah. and drink crap. Is that true? Let me go back to you. Yeah, that is true. And, 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 and that, okay. have, that have a lot yeah. to do with who get drunk so yeah. quicker. Let me tell you something. To a point. I love red rum. But I also love Prosecco. Prosecco is a sparkling wine. Wine, yeah, wine is expensive too. Uh, PJ, well, in the meantime, can, can, you, can you look on moments if we're getting anything? Yes, go ahead. Uh, my bad, go ahead. Yeah, but when I know I'm going out to drink, mm -hmm. you have to put something in your stomach. Huh? So you hold the liquor better. So we are trying oh, for so, several. So the so, so, man, the, the woman prepare first yeah, before you go. Yeah, but the man upon a budget and can't afford to eat first so, because yeah, so you become a sponge. <laughs> so the sponge defeats so, so that's the drink. secret. So that's the secret. Are you okay? Yeah. That's the secret. A man, a man with upon a budget can't afford uh, to 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 If him can't afford to buy a food first before him have to spend on this woman with a high class individual. Go ahead, go ahead, Christine. In drinking. It depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the, the liquor I drink, most Jamaican men, especially the older men, drink my liquor. Them drink white rum. And some go home and sick and some beat up them wife and some carry on and, and all of that stuff. I do nothing. I just have my nice, like I, I, I was saying earlier, I drink for the effect, I don't drink for the taste, so I chase mine with water. Mm -hmm. What I, I, I am made to understand, when you put all this sweet stuff, pineapple juice yeah, and cranberry and juice and all of that stuff, in your liquor, yeah. it heightens and spruces up the metabolism of the liquor. Okay. So, Gary, you, you, you're the voice of reason, back to you. All right, Hold that um, thought, yeah, back to you, yeah. See, see, see um, she have a point there because you do. Ha I mean, everything, really, yeah. everything that you chase with have some kind of sugar in it, mm -hmm. so the sugar will alter the effect of the liquor definitely. So that and she probably ate something before she drank the liquor. So, no, so she she's all, no, so she's all right. But <laughs> that Negro who didn't before. that cheap the whole but that, that cheap Negro who didn't buy food before him come yeah. and now uh, do do vodka and <laughs> yeah. and, and, and uh, coke sugar. with yeah. the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the sugar, the sugar, the sugar does taste it. The fact that yeah. Negro who did the vodka <laughs> and the coke with the sugar and never eat before no. him go. No, never had any carbs. Ah, uh, Lord, yes, you know? yes, so, yes. So the sugar, the sugar is the, gonna affect the liquor. The yes. sugar is gonna affect it. Yeah. Um, yes, PJ, talk to me about um, online in your moment. So, um, Marlene Dunnan. Mm -hmm. Oh, says there I'm gonna... is a culprit for the big belly. Her liquor does not do that, but I am not a drinker. She Ashley she's not an says, expert. Love would voice spirit. Charles looks like I can't pronounce this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. says, good boy, coconut rum is the best. Yes, yes it is. Rum. Yes, it is. Yes, so it far. is. Definitely. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, beer. and Because she mentioned about Big Billy, all about them, um, you know, Christine, you know, she didn't know why she so, making an attack at the, the Big Billy on them. Oh, right. But um, Christine says, every man from back in the Jamaica, every man who come to the bar is a Big Billy, except the pastor. I mean, I don't know what kind of Holy Ghost is about Pop wrong. So, but talk to me about that with the beer. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really and truly, a lot of people don't really understand that beer is all carbs. So it's actually not that bad for you. 
is when you drink it and don't do nothing else. Okay. That's when it becomes a problem. Explain. If you don't exercise, I do not exercise, just it drink beer. The carbs just sit there and sit there and build up. So and that's where you come from. The so beer then. Uh, PJ, put us on the white sometime for me, please. I'm sorry for to be doing that. But sorry, we can't and get the. Some yeah. bars. Oh, Whoa, didn't know bars. that, didn't know that, but listen. Okay. So all those things have, you know, have effects on, you know, who tap out first, who, hmm. who get drunk first, you know. So then, the, the, there's a Negro who goes, and I'm using not, you know, folks, I'm saying Negro, <laughs> uh, who goes to the bar, came by Claudet, uh, kind of a liquor, so I make sure I'm keeping money in them pocket first, that him don't have to uh, spend that money on uh, uh, before him go, I forgot to spit on Claudette. Okay, okay, so he comes to the bar hungry, so that's, an, uh, if I understand it, mm -hmm. and then he buys a rum and coke with, and with, with a lot of coke in it, and that has the sugar. Yeah. But regardless, there is, uh, we're talking about Women Month, and a more serious note, um, that women have been most men get abused by a woman in a bar. If it parades, it's 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 um, it's it's Christmas, all right. Um, but women have been abused time and time again by guys who like like I think I have the song. When him again, I have the song. Blame it on the alcohol. Um, I can't remember his name. Just it's on the tip of my mouth, uh, tongue right now. But blame it on the alcohol. Women, uh, uh, Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, uh, Fox, baby. Uh, there you go, T Pain, baby. The alcohol, mm -hmm. ladies. Um, from a serious point of view, and we, we wrap with the show is, is going quickly too. So, we have, have about 20 more minutes to go. So, we're gonna go to Gary afterwards. But signs that you're drinking at a bar because part of the question is, um. It, 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 um, do people use, I can't remember the exact thing, label of, or I can, I make the flyers, but I can't remember the flyer once I start. Um, the thing about how much of it is blamed on the alcohol, okay? Um, ladies, do you get signs that when guys are, are making a move, guys have lived long enough, I make a move and he's trying to say it because him feel nice as the alcohol, or what are the signs that you can know that a man going to go sideways? Anyone you can take that. Because I'm, go, I'm drinking and I'm getting a little, either I'm, I'm drinking and I'm getting a little bit too nice, or it, it, sweet. it's too sweet, or he had an intention before. Can, can you, can, can, in other words, can you discern it? That's what I'm asking. Uh, let me tell you something. Sometimes, you know, a man can be eyeing you from over there, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have the words or the drive, so I'm, I'm go for the, the, the glass mm -hmm. to build up confidence <laughs> and then him come over there i want him to start talking start spit up <laughs> oh <laughs> jesus we're not talking about that you're no, not, no, you're no, not, no, you're not you sometimes <laughs> men use this mm -hmm. to give you a line yeah, yeah. oh yeah, jesus that's what they do. well <laughs> if you if you are <clears throat> inebriated yeah. i can mm -hmm. spot it from a mile away so if you're going to come to talk to me i can get i get it it's drunk signs, drunk. signs, signs, because some yeah. man hold it, they put them on and them pack it and them, them, them smoother than smooth when them come to you. Signs, uh, talk to me. You are not a ma woman, so you, you Can't would never tell. pick up on it. You are <laughs> yeah, not okay. a woman. Good, good, but yeah. as a woman, mm -hmm. you can tell a, dr a drunken drunk man, a mm. drunk woman, well, with a drunken self. And, and I am like that. I'll run you in a minute. But, but what if you go, hold on. But So you're there, but you go to a bar by yourself. But what about the, the, the woman uh, who go, go to that date? And? And him, him, him move from being very, very, very um, low-key mm -hmm. and smooth till after two uh, rude boy. Which version of the rude boy rum this? Oh, this, wow. is, this is the Irish gold. But him go with the coconut. The coconut rum, and after two drinks, I him get him, him, him start to get brave. Well, it's time for you to go, because no man is gonna dis as as a date. Mm -hmm. You will not disrespect me. So if I'm seeing that you're overstepping your bounds, or even if it's my own gentleman, then and him, he had one too many, it's time for us to leave. Or like my mother always said, 
Bring your Vex, Vex money. money. It's time for you to <laughs> live. What's yep. that call again? Vex money. Vex uh, money. Uh, you just up. excuse yourself, go yes. to the bathroom, and, and you're, you're out gone. of there. Uh, uh, let me make sure, because I have heard too many young people, <laughs> pre-college and post-college, who are calling them mama to get the come pick them or the daddy come no pick man. them up. And if me come me now come me I come with Joe. <laughs> and they, they now be like Joe. Um bring your vex money. Bring your vex mm -hmm. money. Um personal experience with mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. As you say, um men mostly come home and abuse or abuse them women. Consume too much and then abuse. What I do if something is pressing on me and I'm trying not to be loud about it at home, mostly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to come out with it because you have this brethren who not going to get it the way you're shooting it at him, not going to understand it, or did something where you are vexed about, I really want to tear up. I go to my little bar, <laughs> get a drink, pour some water in, and shut it back. In two minutes, I've said every word in the call him every name in the book except the child of God. And, yes. and, then, and then blame it on the alcohol. Right? No, I'm no. not going to blame it on the alcohol, but the alcohol just boosts that courage and give me that oomph so I can get it off my chest. They say when the alcohol go in, the wits come out. Something to that effect. Them says the truth serum. So it, 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 it's, 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 it's the truth serum. The truth serum. So, um, <laughs> it, it, then Gary, in our words, maybe it, 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 a woman should go to a bar with a guy and make him drink enough to realize what he's all about because he can't lie under the liquor. Yeah, there you go. Lying <laughs> under the liquor. <laughs> Can, you a, 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 any truth yeah. to that? Nah, it's definitely the truth serum. Trust me. Most people, when they get drunk to the point where... Oh, Lord, they tell it the truth. They just tell it the way it yeah, is. Yeah. Whatever they're on their mind, that's exactly out. what they're telling. I, I am and, a personal witness to that. Yeah. If I can't get it out in a decent, subtle manner, and it must come out or I'm going to just die, I drink some alcohol, and I'm braver than... <laughs> and I just spit it out. <laughs> well, yes. I'm unlike but, you. But you're, you're I say period. Yeah, well, you're well, a well, different well, 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 you're something different. You're different. Yes, you're, she's a different I've sister. seen her at Kiwanis Club meeting where she just, somebody up there talk nonsense and she just blow it up. Um, <laughs> let me get back to our studio <laughs> audience because uh, I just, to our that? online audience, because they have been waiting. Women drink better. Yes, we heard that. Uh, and thank you for not um, killing me for, for butchering your name. I appreciate it. Um... Amar is watching, Gilchrist is watching, Cordell Line is watching, uh, Suffice the Wine. Suffi uh, uh, sulfites in wine causes headache. Good information, we know yeah. ab about that. Dan is watching, Valentine Cooks is watching, House Bunny Roberts is watching, uh, Des Watson is watching. We have a whole lot of people watching right now. Kim says, don't. Don't mind, oh, the pronunciation, she still tell me that. Um, House Bunny says, when you go out to bars, when you go out for bars, dome of bartenders does water down, the, 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 a lot of, yeah. but yeah. they water, water, water yes. down the liquor. Okay, we got that. Um, and so House Bunny said, that is why they have nuts in the bar. She did say that. Um, and so, Jay gave me the, um, the black history thing regarding Jack Daniels old stole. So if fat folks, check it out on the, um, on, 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 on the chat, you'll see the, the information. Oh. News pages watching, Omar says, men hold the liquor better. Men drink soup after, uh, soup, no, no. So hold on, let, let me find some coffee. I have to bring this back, I, I have to bring this back to you. Um, drink soup. Uh, Gary, it water. says, <laughs> <laughs> Omar, stop the nonsense, <laughs> Omar. Hey, listen, Omar says, men hold liquor better. Men drink soup, start again like nothing happened. The women run, run to the restroom and then they, and then, hold on, hold on. Women run to the restroom and then they disappear. Because I'm vexed. Because <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I'm vexed. I'm vexed. Talk, to to, talk to me about the soup. Yeah, they just start with it. You got to rest. You run to the rest. Disappear. Oh, and this, oh yeah, okay. Cause, cause and the men. When you've had enough, start again. Mm. Yeah. Um, 
soup. Reaction that to one. I'm really unsure and coffee, about that one. And coffee, because coffee, people say coffee. Me hear people, you know, the coffee yeah. help you recover. Coffee sober them yeah, up. Yeah, because of the caffeine. But the soup, I'm not sure about the soup part. No, but it's, I yeah. know when you're when you're drunk, the next day you drink the same thing, and it sobers you up. Is that true? That's just an excuse to get drunk. You know, I, guess. I, have, I have a question <laughs> for you, um, Mr. Rude Boy. Mm -hmm. You were talking about the distilling of the liquor, and yeah. said the more you distill it, or the more whatever name you use. It's the finer the liquor. Yeah. Okay, so what about um, Claudette, myself, and Mr. Host there? All three of us drink white rum. Yeah. But she, I don't. She, Let, let's get this that's clear. Hypothetically, okay. speaking. I, 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 I hypothetically speaking. Thank but you. let's say I okay. can't stand up the taste of white rum. All right. Okay, so. coconut rum. Coconut <laughs> rum then. Yes, coconut, coconut rum. rum. I, I, I'll All live with that. All three of us drink coconut, coconut rum. Yes, yes, I'll live with that. Uh -huh. All of us drink three flutes of coconut rum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Him pass out, she get drunk, and me still a drink. What does that have to do with the way the, the rum was processed? All right, so. Wait, wait. Because I'm, I'm going to give you while my while answer. My talk, I'm going to sip right. up doesn't some more. Doesn't it just so. have to do, most of the time. Most of the time. It, doesn't, doesn't it just have to do with the, the person in general, mm -hmm. how much they can consume I'm and be. And, and still stay ab above so, ground. Uh, in general, it's mainly because, obviously, body mass and how your body absorbs it. So you're trying to say, me that's, better than everybody else? No, that, that's, that's, the <laughs> that's, the, that's, 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 that's the first. That's the first part of it. That's the first part of it. And then, obviously, with the whole the hangover and the after effect, it's based on the quality of the alcohol. Um, so, I mean, of course. Body mass are the first thing we have to do with how quick somebody gets Okay, it. so she okay. gets a hangover, I don't. It's because of the quality of the rum. Oh, most people, I mean, most people will get the hangover from a, in an inferior <sighs> manufacturer product. Gary, okay. that I, I, give you a hangover. I, I, I all think the time. what Christine is asking, and it's, and it's probably a very, and not probably, Our, and it's essential. I think it's an important question that biologically, systemically, that there are some people are more prone to drink, to, so, to, right. to, 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 because and my 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 daddy had and that bar, people, and that joker will drink every client under the, the table, table. So and some you people, still cut their money. And, and, right, the and, and, and that's the next thing where <laughs> some people have a higher tolerance because of the repeat, you know, how, much, how often them drink. So truthfully, it has drink. nothing to do with the distilling of the alcohol. The, the, the distilling of the alcohol has to do with the headache and the hangover part of it. That's where it's going to kick you. Like if you drink an inferior product, I guarantee the next day you're going to feel the effect of it. When you leave, oh, yeah. you're going to kiss me teeth because ah. I really don't think so. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get me wrong. But, uh, listen, listen, really don't listen, listen, so. don't get me wrong. There, there are some people that have a tolerance that there's nothing you can do for yes, stop them. Yes, yes, yes. There, there's going to be that handful well, of that Well, I think that's field. what you should say. I don't think nah, you nah, nah, there, there, there's, there's definitely the a, after There's people. definitely a handful. Yes, you have bad, not, not have a lot. Liquor, you there's have there's, there's a handful of people that... Mm -hmm can drink anybody out of the building, no, no problem. Any day of the week, any that time of the day. That was Diane Ardian, Bryce, whichever what the, the pronunciation says, big man's supposed to hold them liquor. Which brings mm -hmm. another question. So my dear ladies, if a big man go to... <laughs> when you say a big man, what do you mean? You mean big a tall, big man? Strong man. Big star strapped in man go to a bar with you and him get drunk, you not take him home. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. He called him the tow truck to get his ass home. If he's that big, because I can't lift him up. Say so I'll leave him right there? Hell yes. Wow, wow. First so, of all, my significant other is not going to do that to himself. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I mean? And I don't think any friend of mine would have done that. Because they know I'll curse them out the next day. Yeah. You can't do that. You must know your limits, sir. And first and foremost, put something in your stomach before you go and buy a drink. But why if the man is right. saving money because he wants to... Well, stay at home and drink <laughs> the lemonade or your Kool-Aid. No, drink the liquor at home. Yeah, who's saving my liquor at home? He can't, can't afford it. So, so if he can't buy afford it, he buy a drink before. Yeah. So save that $5 or $10. So you can't get to where you want to go yeah. and come out and, and buy me a bottle of Prosecco. Um, I just want to take a moment here because the last time you were on the show, 
there was a sister. We ah. had a fantastic show. It, the title oh, of the God, show, God. Gary, was Lame Lines and Lies That Men Tell. Oh, and God, it was oh, God, a oh, God, crack oh, up show yes. with yes. some <laughs> talking about the, the alcohol and it wasn't even no alcohol. My, 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 after, after I listened to the ladies, um, I just realized that men and I, oh, we, we, when they want to make a move, them just, yeah, they just, oh, them just lie. Oh, oh, deception. A deception. deception. We, we, we want to have a repeat of that show at some time. But <laughs> I just want to just say, I've never really acknowledged her passing. Yeah. Can you just fill, us, fill in the audience oh. for me? Well, when I, when, when I was on the oh, show, I when we were on the show, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, what's Luke, mm -hmm. Pauline, I, I'll get Pauline, to that. Yeah, in here. You know, Luke is my brethren. I mean, mm -hmm. he gets on my nerves, but he's my brethren. Uh, and, and that's how we get to you know, and, being and a brethren. <laughs> being my brethren. And, you know, he reached out to me about this topic. And I said to Pauline, you're the perfect person to join me on. And Pauline Richards. Mm -hmm. So she left us last June. Yeah, she developed um, pancreatic and liver cancer. And it's like, what, three months she was gone. And um, just this past week, um, Luke shared mm -hmm. that, that video that we did, that show that we did mm -hmm. with him. And you know what? Who are we? What are we? What are we? I mean, when she was diagnosed, she always had this backache. Huh? I'm not going to drown it out with all of, you know, just with all of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just keep in touch with your body. Mm -hmm. You know, if anything feels differently, go check it out. You know, she'd been having this backache for so many years. And, you know, she, she was my sister, close friend. And she reached out to my sister, you know, when she go check herself. Stage four pancreatic and cancer. And it was gone. And it just, two well, sheets we, of a duck steel. What? She was gone. And all of what she had remained here. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? So live your life. Drink your alcohol. Keep. Drink. Yes. Yeah, 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 have fun with it. Have fun with it. Give it out. Give us, get a white yeah, shot, please, with it. Keep in touch with yes. your body. Get, yes. 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 If yeah. you're yes. having a headache, drink that yeah. yeah. alcohol. Drink it, yeah. When yeah. I have a headache, happy. Happy. when I drink my... Uh, wait this again. Coconut. Coconut and, Raw pineapple. and pineapple juice. Yes. And it upset my stomach. Wait, there's something not in the right, right? So all of a sudden, yeah. it sucks. You know, just keep in touch with yourself and, you know. But you know, as Jamaicans, it's gas. Let's have some tea. No, I'm not still It's so. gas. Let's drink some no, bush I'm not, tea. I'm not a one so. of those Jamaicans. So, I drink my uh, bush uh, tea, but I'm Let's not leave one the those. Jamaicans alone because this alcohol goes through everybody else. But the truth <laughs> of the matter is, we just wa I just wanted to take that time out. Yeah, Thank man. you. Uh, Claudia, to remember her yeah, because yeah. she was a she was the awesome. life. She was a good person on the yeah, show. Uh, 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 this this topic <laughs> needs to have a part B because we have actually run out of time, and I need to give Gary some time to talk about the the sponsor of all of this liquor yeah. everybody have on the table and they're carrying on. But I just want to Bunny Bunny uh, House Bunny Robert says when I do go I go to karaoke. I drink so that I can have the courage to go and in front of so many people to sing. So uh, the truth of the matter is that alco alcohol in within reason has its own, mm -hmm. it, it brings out a certain amount of machoism or it brings in the case of women, a feminism or a, a whatever works for, uh, for anybody. Um, but the truth of it is from what I gather from this show, you have to know, first of all, what you're drinking. You have to know your tolerance level. And you have to be true to yourself mm -hmm. in terms of um, what are your intents and when you... You have to be Tell sufficient because I realize there's, there's a consciousness that is lacking in so many people. So they go some places and they say they blame it on the alcohol. You can't blame it on the alcohol for acting the fool, whether or not you, you claim you're stone drunk or whether you, do, you, you pretend you're drunk. So folks, it's plain and simple. You cannot do it. And so people need to understand that clear, clear and pain, uh, uh, just as clear as night and day. You gotta do that. Um, I wanna take some time though to, to talk to uh, Gary because he has been the sponsor, pretty much the sponsor of this show. And all this uh, coconut rum and red rum and this kind of rum uh, uh, that we've been drinking. Um, 
This is a local brother who has created his own uh, um, uh, brand. Mm -hmm. And everyone who has tasted this has have really found it to be um, just phenomenal. It's at the next level. And so he was talking about the, the still process and all this kind of a far, I'm a photographer, videographer, yeah, all this kind of thing about distilling and how many things kind of have me lame. Gary, talk to me as to why that this, there's J. Renevia, there is <laughs> Appleton Estate, there is all yeah. these established companies. Yeah. Talk to me as to why we would want to give Rude, bo uh, rude boy, sound like I get a boy rub. But then again, just like bar talk, people say, well, you wouldn't have it. But it's, 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 we've been around for four, four, um, going to four years, and it's, yeah, so. it, 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 it deals with certain so. things that people want to talk about. Why rude boy rum? What, what, what's the distinctive difference about it? Go ahead. All right, the first thing, um, I mean, obviously, the flavor is something something special. I mean, everybody, what, What's everybody, so special about the flavor? You made it. What's so, so special? Uh, the flavor is, I mean, the coconut is, everybody love it. It's just a... So let a, me ask a question. Because while you talk, um, I'm going to piggyback on you on stuff because everybody got, if, if you're going to, especially the dollar stores, folks, everything have a flavor and everything yep. is, a, is a chemical flavor that's dropped into it. Yep. How much actual coconut or is a coconut uh, Essence. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's all yes. it's all organic. I mean, you can. I mean, even just the fragrance of the rum, mm -hmm. you can smell the coconut. You know. Say our words. Say our words. A real coconut. Yes. It's is hundred percent organic, real coconut. Um, also, if you notice with our rum, everything is very smooth. Yes. It goes down really easy. Oh yes. Very, you know, very easy to go down, and that's what we do. We make sure that every one of our flavors. Uh, just so you know, folks, cool. we've been drinking this all evening, and, and if you notice, our guests have almost emptied the bottle, um, and nobody have the hiccup or a belt. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, it, it goes down very smooth, yeah, very smooth, mm -hmm. and that's part of the refining process. Mm -hmm. You know, even the the white, the gold, all of it goes down very smooth. Is there anything that compares to uh, J. Ray and Nephew as a competitor? Um, not yet. So Jerry and Nephew, their signature is the strength. It's, um, I forgot the exact number, I but it's 60, 70 percent. You can't run, you, you can't run your care upon yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can, you know, that, and that's what, that's what their signature is. However, I mean, we have another product that's coming out soon. That's going to be overproof, similar to Jerry and Nephew. But our goal is still to make it smooth. I mean, we know the other stuff. You drink it and... If you drink well, it straight, you might, you might. Me. Yeah, because you're a rum drinker. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. right. and, and, and all right. the same reason why you have to add water to it. Because if you drink it straight, I mean, you might yeah, just man. die. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, you, 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 it's going gonna, gonna to melt everything going in. You know, so that's why we try to be I, different. I, I'm glad we mentioned that because I come from two sides of my family were... Um, Drunk, uh, my, my dad died it, um, two, three years ago. Uh, he, like I said, we he had the bar. He could have drank anybody under the table and still exactly. take the money and still sweep them out at the end of the night. I still walk home. I still walk home. <laughs> um, my, my grandfather on my mother's side and his father were chimney cleaners, chimney sweepers. Yeah. Now, Jamaica back in the day when you had the cement silos mm -hmm. and so forth, they drank white rum um, for. Um, to get rid of the the metal metals in um, you know okay. uh, um, some of the eh, what is it called charcoal. the charcoal in, in the charcoal, charcoal that came from the thing, okay. and both of them died from like you mentioned cirrhosis of the liver. Mm. Yeah. My 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 my, my um, grandfather um, Chino Beckford, when they cut off this it amputate, amputated his one of his legs. And the doctor said no more alcohol, and he well, couldn't get. Out? Yeah, it, when it <laughs> when. <laughs> funny, I'm sorry, funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when they amputated his leg, and he couldn't get the, uh, they, they refused to give him the alcohol. Yeah. He used to go send the kids mm -hmm. that him head or hurt him. He need to go buy beer rum, yeah. and he I bought beer rum and drink it with the. The, 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 with, with the milk. 
Yeah. And so when he died, his liver was pretty much done. Done. Yeah. So when you talk about people don't understand that the, the alcohol that is like the moonshines that are not distilled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That they have a, a more than just making your belly big since Christine keep talking about big belly mm -hmm. banana alcohol. But there is a, a, a certain amount of so, damage to yeah. your uh, organism. And, 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 they're, 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 and why, why is why is the and that's, water and that's when um, that's when you don't take out all of the impurities out of the rum. And there's some chemical balance in the rum that will still give it that effect as far as it's saying shows to the liver and it you know it affects you long term. Which being extra refined reduces that significantly. I mean, it takes out all the extra things that you don't really need. Yeah, it change the taste, it changes the strength. But you know, we pride ourselves on making it taking out all of it? Not all of it. Okay. But we take out enough <laughs> we take out enough to still make it nice, you know what I mean? But, so, but but you can tell when it you drink our rum, it goes on so smooth and it's very refined, and that's the difference. And that's our signature where we trying to pride ourselves on that, having that refined, extra smooth flavor. Let me tell you something. I taste that. And uh, we are rum. about to go over time. So while you guys talk, no, you guys can just wrap up, and I'm gonna end with Bye. Gary. With Gary. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when you introduced me to the coconut rum. Yeah. Man, I'm sold. I hope you have a bottle so I can take over. I have a damn what you need. It's okay. It's, I, I but, but, but it's, it's, it's You didn't tell out the price of the bottle. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, I'm a woman of substance. I don't ask price on anything. Yeah. And you, 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 you eat before you go. I you eat before you go to a bar. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm good. Good, yeah. before you when go. I start yes. To drink. Got you, got you. I'm impressed with the white. I'm rum. very impressed. You're well, impressed with the white I'm and you're impressed with the coconut, right? I, I, I am a white rum drinker. Yeah. And you know, this is my second glass. Uh, no. And you are white. This white rum, the Root Boy white rum, it can be had without water. Because, and, and because that's it's smooth. My thing. It's very smooth. It's very, very, very smooth. smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm impressed with the, the white rum. Yeah, man. Yeah. Not the coconut good. rum, but I'm not into a whole lot of flavors. Yes. You but want, I really, you really the, liked it. The white, okay. But the white rum is very impressive. Yeah, man. Yeah. I like it. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, folks, we, we need to be supporting small business um, in a lot of ways. And so when there's a brother, man. Small black businesses. Uh, yes, I, I stand yeah, corrected, yes. um, Claudette. Yeah. Small black businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, including my business, Moment to Remember Studios, for oh, all your things, photo, yeah. video. We Like we said, we have a new uh, YouTube channel. It's at, at Moment to Remember at M2R. Uh, that's all Facebook. Just because Moment to Remember on Facebook, you'll find oh. Moment... Uh, PJ, you're saying it is what? Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's Facebook dot, not Facebook. YouTube.com forward slash <laughs> at bar talk at M2R. So that's it. If you want to get on there, just look up some of these stories because all of these are going to be going to um, our new channel on YouTube. It's a new channel. Please follow us. Please like us. But also feel free to like Moment to Remember Studios on Facebook and Jamaicans.com on uh, Facebook. Jamaicans.com is uh, Facebook.com forward slash One Love Jamaica. And so um, I, it, it is my please, plum pleasure, I'm stealing from one of my friends who come on this show all the time, to have had this uh, show today. Um, Gary, I just want to thank you for... Uh, folks, I don't know if you can't see them, them, them things. It's not joking. It's two big bottles of rum. And, oh, and, and them almost done. Me think me I'm going to carry them with me because they're not going to finish it before they leave. But um, um, they're going to stay right or so, um, Claudette. But the, the truth of the matter is um, support black business. Support um, our own folks' business. I have him on the show. He don't pay me a penny to be on the show because we are talking about a topic that has a whole lot to deal with um, just how we behave socially, especially when it comes to rum. And too often men don't have it within them to say up front and I really don't have part of my language, the, P, the, the PG portion of the show, don't have the balls to approach a woman and then they turn around and they blame it on, on the alcohol. alcohol. Uh, you agree with me, ladies? Yes. Absolutely. I, I, I totally agree. Uh, totally, yeah. yes. So listen, don't use the alcohol as no thing. 
But based on what the people have said so far, bro, if you're going and you want to... Because people said, the woman says, I, I've seen on, on, on the chat, and I've not gotten to all the chat, folks. Some of you have mentioned things on the chat that I, I wish we had time to mention. If I don't mention your name or don't mention what you said, uh, it's a question of time. We are limited on exactly what we have to say. But, folks, ge some general stuff, gentlemen. Eat at your yard before you come, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Eat absolutely. at home before you go. Fill yeah, your man. stomach so <clears throat> the alcohol have something to absorb. absorb. There you go. Even um, two slices of bread. Even two slices of bread. Yes. If you show up at the people in place and you're still hungry, there's enough free peanuts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Eat I've the peanuts. <laughs> In cuts the, you on the peanuts. Cuts you on the, the peanuts. And, and, absorb and, and absorb the salt. Alcohol. But absolutely, <laughs> there's no reason to use alcohol for your as an, uh, as an excuse for inappropriate behavior. behavior. We sure. talk about women's months and so forth. Um, yeah. if, if a woman goes out with you, she already know in her mind whether or not you going to move to base two or three or whatever, or else you just coming for a free meal. She yeah. coming for a free meal. She know that before <clears> then. <throat> Don't try to make it anything else and blame it on the alcohol. Yeah. All right, that's what's you know. I want to close out with Gary. Tell us how we can get, uh, folks, the, 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 the rum, I've tasted it before. I've tasted that jerk fest. I've tasted that on him. A shoot that I did. I want to um, find out from him. And you probably, because people are asking in the chat, how can we get this? Tell us how can we get, your, get to this stuff. ABC and Tosa Wine. Those are the two main people basically can get right now. ABC, ABC and Tosa Wine. Uh, um, ABC and Total Wine. But if they want to reach you for bulk, is there an, there's a Facebook? Yes. Because I went to your Facebook page. Just like me, there's not much on the Facebook page. Yeah, Talk to me. The, the Facebook and the social media, we're really doing all that. I mean, you can reach out to us at ruboyspirits.com. Uh, leave a message on the website and we can reach out to you and set something up. Um, so, Repeat that again. Slow it down for me, please. Rudeboyspirits.com or Instagram, rudeboyspirits.com too. Instagram. Is yeah. it on? Uh, by the way, I just need to let you know, um, uh, we, Kevin is on vacation and you brought your son in. What's his name again? Oh, that's DeAndre. DeAndre. Yeah. I, I need to find a way <laughs> to remember his name because it's not a name that is naturally on my tongue, DeAndre. And I ask him, this, you, your son is a graduate of which college? Um, DeAndre, tell me. There you forget oh, my it. Lord. Can't, can't remember. <laughs> that's his son. That's how, that's how I made a joke about. It's been so loud. Uh, I don't even remember. Judge Dredd said if that's. Can't okay. you see the resemblance? No, you, I, you say he's in the dark. You can't see the resemblance. Yeah. That's him. He can't, no, can't deny it. Which college? Warner University. Warner University. What and state is that in? That's in Lake Worth, Florida. Lake Worth. And your. Oh, and your and oh, your, your, de your degree was in? Communications. Communications. And okay. I must tell you, Kevin was been out this week, and he came in, and without any issues, he jumped behind the mixer and aided Paula, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, PJ, in whatever she had to do, and especially with sound, mm -hmm. and he did a marvelous job. So I just really want to thank you, DeAndre, for coming. And so... Uh, the social media page again. Give me the social media handle because we are on obviously Facebook. Give it to me again. Uh, Root Boy, Boy Spirits. Spirits. It's Instagram is the Root Boy Spirits, and um, our website is www.rootboyspirits.com. Dot com. Folks, once again, it's time for us to leave. Like I said, if I didn't call your name, we got we still at the end of the program. We have like mm -hmm. twenty four people who are sitting on. We thank you for being part of the show. We had a very interesting show. We had people with comments that we... You can actually go on Jamaicans.com. Yes. And talk to some of these people because they're asking questions where to get it, where we can get it. Yeah. I'm in Canada. I'm in all over the place where to get it. But folks, as always, we thank you for being the best part of the show. And until next Sunday at 5 o'clock, be blessed. God bless. <laughs>